Hi everyone, my name is PB or Peter, and uh, first of all, I have no idea how to be on. Uh, hi everyone, my name is PB or Peter, and uh, I am a avid tabletop role playing game fan. If you are new to the channel, then have a look around. It's probably fairly obvious, and if you've been here for a while, it should be blindingly obvious. I'm a big nerd in general, but tabletop role playing games are a huge part of what I'm nerdy about and what I like to do in my free time. About seven years ago now, I was in a tabletop role-playing game called Tales from the Frontier, which was streamed over on my friend Angel's Twitch channel. And while we were live during one of the sessions, someone in chat asked me whether I could you know, make a video or maybe a video series on tabletop role-playing games, uh, what they are, how to play them, that sort of thing. And uh, I made one video. It's bad. Don't look it up. Um, definitely not showing it on screen right now. It's bad. It's... it's uh, cringy but uh you know uh seven years later i'm finally making the second video although it's actually not the second video but it is a follow-up in a way i guess um i've been playing tabletop role-playing games for a long time i started playing tabletop role-playing games when i was seven years old when my brother introduced me to dungeons and dragons 3.5 edition uh when i was 12 i started playing star wars saga edition which is like star wars's version of DD, and it is made by wizards of the coast and ever since then, I've been a forever GM, a forever game master for my friends groups. Um, I, I basically played a tabletop role-playing game nearly every single week of my life. It's, you know, definitely missed a decent chunk. But uh, since the age of 12 to now at 26, yeah, it's been about 14 years of me non-stop playing tabletop role-playing games. So as I said, big part of my life. And uh, over the years... I've accumulated a decent amount of knowledge. I'm definitely not a fountain of all knowledge, but I think, you know, one of the things with learning how to play a typical role-playing game, particularly if you are a forever GM, is that you tend to kind of learn in a vacuum. But what I've realized over many years is that tabletop role-playing games, sure, they're games, um, but they're also a storytelling um, medium. And so by sharing advice and knowledge and things that I've learned, maybe you can uh, gain something as well and maybe get some more enjoyment out of your experiences uh, doing role-playing. Um, I'm definitely not the only person who's in this space. Hell, my good friend Shay uh, does it over on YouTube as well. Link in the description down below. Um, but I just figured, you know, I might have my own unique advice, my own unique spin that I can bring to things. And so hopefully this is something that you will enjoy too. So I'm announcing PB's Dice Den which is the name of a playlist that's going to be on this channel from now on, uh, where I will slowly add tips, tricks, advice, whatever. I don't want to back myself into a corner of what exactly the content's going to be, but what I want it to be ultimately is a hub for someone to go to if they want advice, tips, tricks, conversations, that sort of thing about role-playing. Some weeks I might do a video that's looking at a particular system and its advantages and disadvantages, why it might work for the particular game that you're looking to run. Another week I might look at a particular aspect of role-playing, session zeros, that sort of thing. One week I might look at where you can get some amazing artwork for your games or music for your games or different places where you can, you know, find different sources. Um, and I also quite like the idea of maybe bringing some people in, maybe some of my players, maybe people I've played with in the past, and maybe people I've never played with before, and just have a conversation, maybe do like sort of like a pseudo podcast sort of thing. So it might be quite broad what this ends up being. But I do know one thing that I'm going to focus on quite a bit with this, which is that for the last eight years, I have to do the math there, for the last eight years, I've been playing almost entirely online. And I think online play sometimes gets a bad rap because playing in person is what we tend to see with like the really really big actual plays and absolutely playing in person is amazing i think if i could have it my way i would try and do a hybrid of the two and play in person but have many of the aspects that playing online brings in like the virtual tabletop but online play can be great and it is it enables you to play with people all around the world i've played with people in america i've played with people in canada I uh, played with people in Germany. One of my players at the moment is German. You know, it's it's a great, uh, great way to be able to play with anyone and everyone. And it doesn't have to be a worse experience than playing in person. So because I've been playing for the last eight years online, I want to give a particular focus to how to enhance your online play. It's not going to be all that the series will be, but it is going to be a decent chunk of it. And because I play on a particular uh, 
program or particular virtual tabletop called Foundry VTT or Foundry Virtual Tabletop, I'm going to do a decent chunk of focus on that because one, I think it's got a lot of content that you can cover. There are these things called modules that really allow you to customize the way that you run your game. And I definitely want to highlight those. But also, I think it's got a slightly higher barrier of entry. And so hopefully by giving some tips and tricks on that, it might help some of you get started on that. But I will look at other virtual tabletops. I played on a couple of different ones and I might occasionally kind of investigate a new one. Um, but yeah, I want to basically just, as I say, have this be a hub of all things um, tabletop role-playing stuff. I, I'm i bad in front of camera. I might get better now that I'm doing talking to camera bits. I mean, I usually do this like once, once a stream and I'm usually bad at it, but hey. Anyways, for that one person in chat seven years ago, sorry it took so long to make the second video, but hey, welcome to PB's Dice Den. I hope you stay. I hope you learned something, and uh, let's roll some dice.